So since I've done a few of these wigs, I thought the best video to start off with on this whole crochet wig making trend is to do an everything you need to know kind of video. Now I have already dabbled in this technique with the half wig from this video and playlist sometime last year, but now I think there are some tips I can share first before uploading some styling videos. So let's start with cap selections. Keep in mind there are many great brand options out there. I do have my favorite. Net caps are the best choice for crochet wigs. They have them in open and closed tops and it does not matter which you choose. Just keep in mind you may have to knot the top and close them off like this. Don't worry, it will not affect the fit. Now there are also weaving nets you can use for half wigs and they look like this. They can come in two different net sizes, but the large size or the larger size net is the best choice that you want to use. You will need to estimate the amount of net that you will need like this in order to cover the area of your head that you want. Now let's talk about techniques and some tips. First of all, to do a crochet wig, you will need a crochet needle. You can find them at most beauty supply stores and craft stores or any area that has a craft section and like Walmart, Kmart, <laughs> Target, doesn't matter. Now there is a lot of different textures and styles of hair out there for crochet wigs. As long as the hair is loose hair and not hair that is on a track. The two most common brands or types of hair for crochet wigs is usually the Cuban twist and the Marley braiding hair. You can also use loose hair that is already curled, textured, or straightened. Now, no matter the type or the texture of loose hair that you purchase, you would need approximately four packs for long styles, three packs for short style full crochet wigs, and two packs for smaller half wigs. So here are the two techniques you could either combine or do separately. And the first one is the loop technique. This is where you can pull your loop through and take the two end strands that are left out and pull them through the loop. And you just pull them just to tighten them to your desired security. The second one is the tie knot. And this is where you would pull the strand of hair completely through and it would be halfway. And all you need to do is tie it in one knot or two if you want to. So some tips that I noticed that may help. Grabbing more of the net makes easy to pull more hair through. So don't try to just grab a few strands of the net. Try to grab about five or six if you catch my drift so that it's easier to pull the hair through whether you're doing the loop or the knot technique. Second, stagger the hair and space it more in the back than in the front and sides. Third, go ahead and try to cover the edges of the entire cap and keep most of your fullness at the top and the front of the crochet wig. Now, once you're done, you will notice that the wigs are extremely full, but they are very lightweight. So you will need bobby pins or wig combs to secure it to your head. And I'll show you how to do that in the styling video. So now that you know some basics, which wig would you like to see me style? If you have any questions that I may not have covered in this video, 
please like, share, and let me know down below. Check out these playlists and I'll see you guys in the next video.